Hi friends, my name is Maruti and I'm the co-founder of GMAT Point as well as Krako. In this video, we'll be comparing the differences between GMAT and CAT from the standpoint of uh, taking the examination. Which of them is easier, which of them is more difficult is what we'll be discussing. If you're looking at unpredictability, you know what are the kind of questions uh, are asked in GMAT. There is not a lot of difference between the kind of questions that were asked earlier and the kind of questions that will be asked when you're taking the examination. In CAT, on the other hand, the unpredictability or the difficulty level of questions varies significantly year on year. In fact, even across different slots, you can see that some questions or some sections are very difficult and some sections are very easy. So from the unpredictability of the difficulty level, I would say that GMAT is more standardized and so less stressful on the aspirants as compared to CAT. You can compare both the examinations, GMAT as well as CAT, from the second standpoint of uh, taking the, the stress on the students when they are taking the examination. GMAT, you can uh, give GMAT multiple times in a single year, while CAT, you give only once. So if you're taking the examination the day before or the days prior to the examination, you'll be very stressed out. Even while taking the examination, you know that uh, an entire year is uh, dependent on how well you do in the examination. And therefore, there's a lot more stress when you're taking CAT as compared to GMAT. GMAT, even if you don't perform well, you can again take it after a few weeks. So probably the stress level on the aspirants is lesser if you're taking GMAT as compared to CAT. You can also compare GMAT and CAT from the fees that is needed to actually take the examination. For GMAT, the entrance fees is around $300 approximately, which comes to close to 27,000 when you convert it into Indian rupees. For CAT, on the other hand, the fees is just around 2,000 to 2,500. So you can actually say that GMAT is 10 times uh, more expensive to take for a student as compared to CAT. So when you're again taking the examination, you feel a lot more stressed out from a monetary standpoint when you're taking the examination of GMAT. Another key difference between GMAT and CAT is the break that GMAT gives between different sections. When you're taking CAT, immediately after one section ends, the next section starts immediately. There's no break in between. So if you're uh, having a time scramble towards the end of one section, you won't get any time to actually collect your breath or take a deep breath and uh, before the next section starts. This uh, adds to the unpredictability of CAT. While in GMAT, between sections, you can take a break. You're given some break. So after one section ends, you can actually go get a cup of water, come back and again start the next section. So it is again a lot more uh, friendly to the aspirants as compared to CAT. So these in general are the differences that uh, I find between CAT and GMAT. And in I feel that from an exam taking standpoint, taking GMAT is less stressful on the aspirants for the reasons that I actually mentioned as compared to CAT. If you are an aspirant for GMAT, check out the GMAT daily targets that we release every single day. Every single day we give a test in quant and verbal with detailed video solutions and they are free to take if you take the test on the same particular day. So definitely check out the GMAT daily targets and if you're looking for a good question bank to practice GMAT level questions, you can definitely check out the GMAT practice platform that we have available on the GMAT point website.